Hello everybody, Elijah here. Welcome you back to another Epic 7 video. And today we're we'll getting into some more RTA. The first two matches are going to be replays because they were some really, really good matches and I just like have to share them with you all. But before we even get into that stuff, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, whether that be Epic 7 or other gacha games, and hit that little notification bell and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, the first two matches are going to be replays because I just think they're very, very funny. Now this draft, more so this Bellion, I took a note out of YD's book. If you know him, he's a streamer. And it, the tech, it works. It works, guys. It works so well. And we're going to see what the tech is and I'll explain it during the match. Alrighty, the Celius goes for an S1 and then my Bellion cuts in front <laughs> because she's on uh, the Lance artifact to CR push herself. And then I provoke the entire team because this is not a DPS Bellion. This is a full speed uh, effectiveness Bellion for this purpose, right? I He more so uses, like YD uses it more so for dealing with Zeos. But I'm kind of using it as a way to deal with like C Lilius's who for some for people who for some reason still first pick C Lilius and I pick both Bellion and Bunny Dom, which basically punishes the C Lilius no matter what. So like no matter what skill she decides to use, unless she S ones into the Bellion, which is also very risky because you don't know if I'm on counter set or something like that. So it's kind of like basically you're stuck. You're really stuck in a draft because of what you just did. Also, at this point right here, the person I'm going up against rage quits. <laughs> like, and it's, everything is on auto on his side. So, cause he, I guess just didn't expect it and just got very, very tilted from it. Understandable though, cause who expects Bellion to be built this way? <laughs> anyway, this match isn't a win obviously. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. Alrighty, so this match was a nail Fighter. Let me tell you, it was very, very close. Like, very, very close on both ends. You can see the draft, how the draft is. Um, I had no choice but to ban the Holiday Euphine, because I could not a Holiday Euphine. Oh my gosh, wrong unit of the ML Euphine, because I just, I just had to like deal with the OQC. I was like, I just had to deal with it. Um, I don't have a choice in the matter. So, yeah, this is. Let's go ahead and get into it. Again, the very immediate <laughs> S1, because they're not going to use their skills. I wonder why C Lilies like, don't ever use their S2 instead, you know? And I, uh, as you're going to see here, this Ocean Breeze Luka is on a effectiveness build, or at least probably has like 100 or so effectiveness because she was capable of stripping and <laughs> silencing and applying a decrease hit chance on my Lionheart. In a moment like this, having um, whatever the artifact is, Doctor's Bag would have been really, really great here because I think it would have cleansed the silence. Maybe, it, no, I don't know. It could have cleansed the silence. I am not for certain. And at this point, I'm kind of trying to like cycle around to be able to use my uh, Why Wish I Serious S3. Get a little damage off there, but it doesn't really matter. And Milken is dead, right? I was debating like, can I hold his skills? And I was like, I can't. I just have to like go for the uh, S3 here. Now, Little Queen is a pretty much like not a problem anymore it's kind of just chilling right she already used her very big burst so i'm kind of just able to relax essentially are you sure you can handle this come on and i was debating ripping my skill here but i decided to greed for it which i don't think was necessary i think i should have just ripped this s3 there like, I think I should have ripped the S3 there, to be completely honest. Only because here you have a Yulaha and she's about to S3, right? I should have just ripped the S3. If Yula got her, you know, 
but then I don't know. It was very messy. <laughs> it was a little. It was kind of hard to really decide whether or not I could do that. And then I was thinking to myself, if I kill the uh, LQC, then I'm good. Like I'm, I'm pretty set for the most part. If Bunny Dom can take a few hits, right? And since the uh, Luca pushed up. I was able to get rid of the defense buff, essentially. Or she, her turn was wasted while the uh, defense buff was up. I got the sleep again. It was really, really nice. So, uh, next turn. Yeah, she's dead. And now we have to deal with two supporters. Or not even two supporters, because Yulha is kind of... I guess a pseudo DPS tank. So we go ahead and get rid of her. Now they don't have any damage. And now this is where the match goes <laughs> into a very, very long just <laughs> doing like no damage on both sides for a long period of time. <laughs> and me just playing around the frenzy, essentially. And now we have Briar with Triceria all by her lonesome. Can she do it? I do I have Soul Burn. So there's that. And I also don't have to really worry about the decreased hit chance. Cause you know, I I could kind of just like be increased 50% or something like that. She has a cleanse. Which sucks. But it's fine. It's perfectly A-O-K. -okay. And the reason being, because one, I resisted that, which is kind of crazy. It wouldn't have mattered if I didn't resist it. Like, I don't know why they're like, like it literally would not have mattered at all. Because I just kill her here. <laughs> like I literally kill her there. And the thing is, Yulha can't kill me. Like, she can't actually kill me. They go for the S3, which I don't know if Eula heals if she doesn't kill. Also, why is that like that? Is that intentional? And then here we have the moment of truth. Do I live? Or does she live? Or who, who wins this? <laughs> Place your bets down below. Boom. And it was me, because, yeah, very, very close match, very, very intense. Alrighty, with those replays, let's queue up and see if I can get something as fun, as interesting as those previous matches that we just watched through. I still don't really know what my, I guess, play style draft is currently for this season. It's a little all over the place. Um, I have that rant ban there, because I was kind of a target ban at one point in time. Okay, so they're banning Karina and a Lionheart. I'm assuming that they're gonna try to play to pick uh, the new unit, uh, Euphine. So typically when I see that people are probably gonna play for Euphine, I just go uh, LRK first. And then just go from there. That's what I do. And it just go I'm from no there. It feels amazing. Interesting. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. Um, do I be who? That'd be fun. I like how I get to recording and I want to like troll. Like, what am I doing? No I'm gonna pick Lua, because it's Lua and she's broken. <laughs> it's like they're committing to... Uh... 
playing slow. So I might pick up the speed in my last two picks. Maybe. Maybe not. I think I might just pick another bruiser. Okay, if you wish to live. I can see Lilia's. Yeah, I was I'm pretty sure they're going to go for that. It really makes the most sense. Violet. What, you think this is a joke? Chew. The last time I picked Euphine into a shoe, I lost. So I might go Briar Witch and Bunny Dog. Or I do somebody with a strip like this, the silence, and defense buff and heal. Or I go a more aggressive route. I think I should go the more aggressive route. And I will also pick... What do I want to pick? I kind of want to pick Abyssal Euphine, like I really do. But, like, if they ban her, would that be bad? This is kind of bad. This isn't really a good pick. Because they could pick Aiden here, and then I have to just deal with the Sea Lilias. And they just ban Bunny Dom. Uh, I think they're pretty set. Right, they pick Aiden here, ban Bunny Dom. And they're pretty good. Like, if they outspeed. They pick Rylet. I... Okay, so them picking Violet makes me think that they're not banning. They're banning Lua. So if they ban Lua, what do I not want to deal with? Right? Like, they have to be banning Lua. But, like, if they're... I don't... I'm confused. They have to be banning Lua, so I leave and it's Lilius, right? Oh. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What? Why did they ban... Like, I get it. They have a bunch of single target DPSs. But, like, they have some kind of reach with the ML shoe. I just don't know why they pick Rylet. Unless this is, like, a 280 speed Rylet. And even then, it's not really enough to, uh... I don't really think it's enough to really do anything. It looks um, like somebody forgot their place. We're gonna do this to stop. I actually doesn't even matter. Like it actually doesn't matter because. Oh wait, it does matter. She's not gonna get the turn. Never mind. <laughs> or maybe she is. Resistance. That's really bad. So we're gonna have to push up. Why did I... Did I debuff literally everybody else? Okay, she's debuffed. There's no way. That was a 15%. There's literally no way. Like, that's so... I don't even know. I don't even know. That was like definitely 15% there because that doesn't make any sense. Alright, counterattack. That's all I need you to do. Please. Please counterattack, Yupine. If there's anything I've ever wanted from you, it's to counterattack right now. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, maybe not. She didn't do that as much damage. <laughs> okay. You're just the buzz thing, but I don't think it kills. Counterattack, Elberus? No, it doesn't kill. Alright, Elbrus, Elbrus? Elbrus, please! Okay. Um, I think I soul burn for the extra damage. <gasps> what? Oh my god, did he? He get. Okay, he did. Please? This is crazy, what am I looking at? So we're gonna hit this. Kill her. Oh, I have to hopefully put her to sleep. 
Okay, I do. You really want your Wait, is it even enough? So be it. I died to Rylet, right? Um. Oh, please, please hit, please hit. What am I looking at? What is going on? Oh. <gasps> Double to Crescent, proccing twice? That's crazy. That's crazy. I I lose that, because... Double to Crescent. That's... I don't know what to say. I really don't. My bad, I guess. <laughs> okay. That was so crazy. I feel like that there was so much. I don't know. I get, was the RNG even? I mean that Moon Gala Lilia's fifteen percent at my turn reset, which also kind of screwed me over. But I somehow managed to land debuffs on everybody else. I don't know. Mad suspicious. I guess they were supposed to win that game. <laughs> Those are very weird bands, like target bands, actually. But I can only assume that they play slow. I, made it in the nick of time. I can only assume that they play slow. So we're gonna do something a little different with Tywin. I'm always ready. And we're also going to pick I'm gonna pick something like Spectre. You want to try me? He goes with that, and that. Okay. Are they like three knights? They probably are. Um, I'm not going to deal with that, first and foremost. So we're going to pick strays. And we are also going to pick... Somebody that can deal with their aggression. The A Tywin is not, or Tywin is not really a good pick here because of, uh, of obvious reasons. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Now, we're going to pick this because why not? They pick Aiden here, that's smart. Right? Aiden just makes the most I sense. Oh gosh. That's actually crazy. Like, I have to ban this. I will punish you oh my gosh. Okay. Um... Can a Tywin tank this? Do I just do enough damage to, like... Um, they ban Narc Ball, right? They, they have to, because I could just seal this, and he can't do his passive. So let's hope that's what happens. Let's hope. Yeah, that makes the most sense. And we are going to be playing for Euphine, just flat out, because I... I kind of have to. The time has come to blight the world with horror. Ready, S3. Nobody dies. Um. That probably wasn't smart. I kind of realized why I just did there. I... <laughs> that wasn't smart at all. I don't even... I don't even know, guys. I, I don't even know what that was. Um... Euphine is asleep at the moment, so there's that. She's... she's just snoozing. I need her to counterattack here. She doesn't. Um, I 
Oh, I don't even know if I'll be able to... I don't even know if I'll be able to cycle for a... I... I think it's over. Uh, she is still just completely not responsive. <laughs> oh, that's the one time she counters. Um I can do it too. Yeah, it's there's just Oh I think he crit the Dark Corp guy. Yeah, I'm just we're just done. Alrighty. Well, that's what happens when you do something that isn't the norm. Somebody just ends up drafting five knights. <laughs> or I guess six. It looks like Pick a Lua. And see where we go from there. They pick two like opener units, so they're either gonna play aggressive or they're playing slow and those units kinda like mess with them. I pick Bunny Dom. That's fine. Expector and let's defy the odds. We're going to do with that. Going a super, super tanky. This makes sense. I might pick Aiden. I kind of want to pick Aiden, and I will also pick MLU Fine, because I just want to use the unit, because I think she's a lot of fun. Now if they... let me think. Okay, so they're trying to get somebody with very high attack to pair with the Lilius. Are you ready? So they're picking Senya. Um, I wonder who's going to be there. The other option, right? Power of all. I don't know so we're gonna do that. Oh, they probably pick like Briar Witch because she's open. That would also make the most I sense. No, they go Little Queen. They go. Uh, L Q C. I'm just gonna do that. Is this a? I guess it. Oh, I just realized. Like it doesn't even matter. You really want your blood spill? So. Be so. It. Interesting. They're kind of in a pickle. But I do want to strip off the immunity. Because, uh, see, Liz is going to proc here, which makes... And it's going to bring back her S3. And now we're fine. Because the speed buff, uh, pushed by Aiden up. <laughs> so we're fine. We are literally fine. I would even argue we won the match because of that right there. Uh, them pushing up makes zero sense. It's actually probably way worse for them to push up there. Because again, right, if I counterattack here, 
it pushes up the little Queen Charlotte. If I, like, if, if Aiden counterattacks or if Emily Fine counterattacks, it will push her up. So, thank you. Did I not crit? That's, if I didn't crit there, that's super, super awkward. But hopefully I did. Oh, she's like dead on her turn. Less unfortunate for them. Ooh, critting, a dual attacking. Um, we're gonna get rid of this. Just so that they have to gamble for a revive. And it ends up not being the... Oh, it can actually sleep. We actually sleep the Aravi. Hopefully. Okay, good. And we can just S1 here for a defense break, potentially. Her turn is wasted. Can I get some counterattacks? Oh, they're just letting it rip. I guess this is like Desperate Hour. It hits. It hits my Aiden. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. She's on counter set? That's crazy. Let's go ahead and heal up. So, she can't. Oh! Counter attacks yet again. Oh, it, she's, it's over. <laughs> Lua is so balanced, guys. Yeah. See what happens when you pick things that make sense? You just win. I guess, I mean, I guess I'm speaking too soon. And I, I should win this match. Like, it, I. Do we not get to see our S3? Hold on. Okay, we do, we do, we do. Oh, no, we don't! They've surrendered! Oh my gosh. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you know that reference, let me know. <laughs> anyway, peace out.